what's up youtube i'm back with another video and if you've been living on the rock a lot of stuff has been happening with the whole madam web and now uh we're a very popular youtuber chris stuckman has dropped his review on it and everyone has been going crazy but before we get into that if you get the like button subscribe and share i'm trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year and i might have a special announcement today so keep a lookout on my community tab i've been i've been cooking up something i've been cooking up something so like if everything works out, you'll see an announcement shortly. But if not, you know, it's going to happen this week. So, thank you, and let's get into it. So, Madam Web dropped, movie was garbage, okay? Horrible. One of the worst movies ever made. One of the worst comic book films ever made, right? And so, Chris Stuckman made a video, and he touted it. I have to talk about this, right? And so, basically, people was like, oh my god. So, Chris Stuckman, for the past, like, two years or so, had been saying, like, hey, eventually... I want to get into filmmaking. I want to make a studio movie someday. I'm making my own short film. I can. I don't want to be one of the YouTubers that's bashing films when I eventually want to get into that space, right? It's kind of like saying, hey, I used to go to every restaurant in my city and rip a new one into every restaurant. Now I want to open a restaurant and I'm going to need your help though. It's like, bro, like I, the people who work in that space, like, bro, I don't want to help you. You just... You told my restaurant a new one, you know what I mean? Why would I why would I help you get big? You know what I mean? I understand what he's saying. But this video was basically him treading water and it blew it blew up. So like of course he has like over two million subscribers. So anything he posts is gonna blow up. But this blew up on Twitter, on other social media, people was ragging into this man, right? And so basically the whole gist this this is the clip that basically everyone saw on Twitter myself probably not going to do a video for this one based off of what i've heard since i do try to keep it mostly about film celebration on this channel having seen the film i'm going to tell you that this is not a movie review of madam webb i am not about bashing filmmakers artists i know how hard it is to make a movie i do not know how hard it is to make a movie under the studio system i was able to make an indie film without a giant corporation breathing down my neck which is not the privilege that S.J. Clarkson had when she directed Madam Web under Sony, which I can only imagine was monumentally difficult. This is not going to be a video about Madam Web and telling you whether or not you should see Madam Web. Now, of course, this little like 30 second clip was only a sliver of what the actual video saw. And after watching the video, I have a lot of thoughts and opinions on that I wanted to share. And so, Chris Stuckman, it's like this all could have been avoided because like the thing that is so annoying about this is because he preaches like okay i'm gonna talk positively about movies etc etc because he wants to be in the space which is understandable i get it like you don't want to burn bridges for um a place that you're going to enter you know what i mean it's like throwing rocks in a glass house you know it makes sense right but why even make this video why it's like when you set this video up it's, it's kind of like, how, how, what's the perfect example of something being set up that is like, you were never going to do this anyway. You're just getting attention at this point. Why would you make a video to my, we need to talk about this. Like, oh my God, like, this is like, this is like the Undertaker coming out of the grave. You know what I mean? This is like, you you hear that music hit, you hear like the 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 glass shatter. You're like, hold on, what is, what's going on? You, you're looking around crazy. <laughs> You thinking, oh my God, like the, the OG Chris Stuckman is coming back. He's going to tear this movie. This movie is so bad. You had to get the old Chris Stuckman out. Like that's, that's what, that's what crazy about it. You know what I mean? That's why it was, it was positioned. Like, oh my God, he's going to, he's going to do it. It's, it's like something so bad that you had to revert out of your nice guy ways to come out and say like, yo, this movie is garbage, but no, he could have just had a regular overview, but the fact that he put it like that and had people, it, Basically, it was like, okay, we finna see something different here. Just for him to come out and immediately say, oh, I'm not finna bash this movie. I just want to talk about, you know, studio interference and and not everything is the director's and writing, writer's fault. Even though I did not see this movie in theaters. You were out of your mind from spending money on this movie in theaters. But when I saw the movie, it, even if studios interfered with the movie, it's made by people who aren't talented. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't, I, I mean this genuinely. Like, outside of this, their track record is not good. Like, I remember the video I made a couple of uh, videos back where I talk about the writers. They made Dracula Untold, Gods of Egypt, Power Rangers, Morbius. Like, if we're being honest here, even if studios interfere, these people are not good at their jobs. Like, if we're being honest, like, 
It's like if you go to a restaurant and the chefs are notorious to having bugs crawl across, uh, run across the plates. You have undercooked food and the and everything's going wrong. Things are burnt in, in the mess, right? You can't go in there and say, you know what? It's the manager that like no 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 no. You can put blame on the manager. You can put blame on the studios. But at the at the base of it all, it is still made by people that don't know what they're doing. Okay. It's still made by people that are not good at their jobs. And they've been working in Hollywood for 10 plus years and they haven't put out a good movie once. But no, it's the studio's fault. That's what that's what the problem was. It's like, you can come out and be honest without being bashful. I'm not saying he should have stood there and was like, you know what? Um, all these people, they should lose their livelihoods. They should be home. I'm not saying that. I'm saying just be honest because you have an audience where people take your word and be like, okay, I, I want to go see this movie and you should come out and be honest being honest shouldn't be a bad thing and if people want to blackball you for being honest when a movie is just horrible as it is then that shouldn't be a space you want to be in anyway and it's kind of like he kind of ruining his reputation by being this nice guy only don't want to talk about criticism keeping everything positive to a point where it's like I feel like you're only doing you like it feels like he has an, an agenda now, you know what I mean? Not someone like a political agenda, of course, but it's like your your goal now is to only get into Hollywood and it's at the point where you're losing your reputation, the whole thing you built the past 10 years on, and it's kind of disingenuous, if that makes sense. And so a lot of people have been coming out and people have been reacting to this, the, the clip and not really watching the movie, I'm watching the movie, watching the, the video. And even the video, he the statement he gives when he says like, Oh, I'm not gonna bash this movie and the stuff he does in the past where he's like it feels like it's a holier than thou approach and I'm not I'm not speaking for the man I, I never talked to the man a day in my life right and I used to follow this man like crazy but it feels like a oh if you're bashing this film like I'm kind of above you because I, I I I don't want to be one of those that bash this movie even though this movie deserves to be bashed if we're being honest here and the funny thing is, I think I said it earlier, but like, he didn't have to release this video. He didn't have to do it. Like, he could have just avoided it. He could have put out a little tweet like, oh, I saw uh, Madam Web is not good, but there's no point in me talking about it because I recommend you go to this video or this video because me sitting there and trying not to bash a film will do it a disservice. You need to go watch other people's opinions because I can't really give my opinion on it because that's not something I do anymore. That would have been easy. That could have been simple enough. But the fact that you want to make this movie and title it the way it is and then do the whole hoopla for it not to be what people were expecting is what making people like annoyed with you. It's like, it's like, bro, like you're not a film reviewer anymore. You're just a guy that wants to talk about the, which is if we're being honest it makes no sense either way because let's say he like he becomes he go, gets to hollywood and all that stuff right you're still bashing the studio in this movie <laughs> it's like it's like you gotta work with a studio at the end of the day it's like what are we doing here like you can't be on the fence and be like i'm not gonna talk about the writers or directors but i will talk about the studio like eventually you're gonna have to like interact with studios like, I'm, that was a confusing point it's like what are we doing here like it's kind of redundant then it's like your refusal to criticize anything harshly about a piece of media makes you like you being a reviewer is kind of pointless if i wanted someone to b blindly defend a film or blindly talk about the positively i can go on reddit or twitter okay <laughs> i go because there's always someone that's like oh my god i love the movie like there's always someone on Twitter, y'all just hate fun when a movie's just garbage, okay? It's like, what is your purpose here then? Like, what 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 do you gain by even releasing this thing? You're just, it feels like you're, like, not seeking attention because he has millions of subscribers, but it's like, it feels like a pointless thing. It's like, what did you expect to happen? <laughs> At the point, I'm kind of looking at him, it's like, bro, you did this. It's like, what do you expect? Now, Angry Joe did release, like, a... Uh, I think it was a comment or something like that. Talk, uh, talking to Chris or whatever, and it's it was it's, a, it's like too, it's long as hell. But I'm gonna post it on the video so y'all can see it and uh, y'all can pause and read it. But yeah, he does make some good points. Like, oh, every um, bad writer that continues to do movies, there are a thousand of other writers and directors that can do and make good movies that aren't getting let in because. You know they're they keep hiring these horrible writers and directors and us not bashing them it's just keeping them in hollywood longer which i 100 percent agree with because you need criticism to weed these people out if they took reviews off of 
Yelp and off of like, let's say DoorDash and Uber Eats and you order a food that is not good at all, then like no one would order foods then. And these restaurants will stay over, open longer than they need to be. But let me know what your thoughts down below. Was Chris Tuckman in the wrong for releasing this uh, video? If you've seen the video, let me know your thoughts about it. And just to give a little summary of what I think, it's like, you gotta avoid this whole thing. This video itself was unneeded and unnecessary. Now everyone is bashing him and, and questioning his credibility as a reviewer. When well, you could have just avoided this whole thing and just released a little tweet like, oh, I don't do this, but I recommend XYZ. It's gonna be as simple as that. But I'll be in the comments down below. Hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And see ya.